Press Here is available as a podcast on iTunes. Welcome back to Press Here. The news has been full of talk about bots, software robots, automated code that post divisive content to Facebook and Twitter in an attempt to disrupt our democracy. Now, these are bad guy bots. But there are good guy bots too, bots designed for business. And programmers at Silicon Valley's Automation Anywhere are building them. Software that can help or even replace high-end white-collar employees. In fact, someday bots could replace the very programmers who wrote them. Mihir Shukla told Inc. Magazine his goal is to be, quote, one of the world's largest employers without having any employees. Mihir is founder and CEO of Automation Anywhere. Thanks for being with us. So is that really the plan? I mean, you have, what, 700 employees now, right. and they're all working to replace themselves with bots? No, I, 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 <laughs> I think the idea is to become one of the world's largest employers, but with, ma with many employees as That's well. That's not what you told Inc. Magazine. <laughs> so the idea is that we will have 3 million digital bots in production in the next uh, three years. So in a manner of speaking, we are producing work worth 3 million people. There are still enough people on our side to support it, but Fair not 3 enough. million. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Now, give me an example of something in real world that you're doing. I mean, what's, what's an example? Oh, hey, that's an Automation Anywhere bot. Uh, it is being used across all industries and various stratas of jobs, right? So uh, large enterprises, uh, around more than 900 of them are buying across all industries. Uh, take an example of in banking. Uh, ba banks are using it to automatically process mortgage applications. Insurance companies are using it to automatically process insurance claims. Uh, if you are a medical researcher and you have to, you are doing a research and you have to run a uh, certain co permutations combinations 50,000 times, you could use bot to figure out which uh, therapy would work. Yeah. Uh, if you are a hedge fund guy and you have to figure out which stock to pick or which commodity to trade, there is a huge part of analysis that has to happen before it. Bot could help you there. So just a few examples where, regardless of it, you know, certain routine tasks have sipped in, in everybody's life, and bots can help. So um, I know we're not talking about bad guy bots here, like the you can talk about anything you want. Half yeah. of my of my tw Twitter followers would fall under that category, probably. But <laughs> but but good guy bots can also have uh, problematic biases and and uh, you know somewhat dependent on who programs them, right? Do you guys think about that? Because I'm sure that this could come into play also in the the industries that you play in? Yeah, I, I, I think the, it's, it's a good question. People often think about it, but it turns out bots are actually a lot more safer than we, when we do anything manually. When we do it manually, there is chance of lots of errors and depending on how well you slept last night and all of that. When bots do something, they, they don't have moods, so they tend to repeat the same quality every time, virtually error-free uh, execution. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Everything is auditable, log it, you know, everything is traceable. So it's the best security that you could ever ask for. You can for. fire them really easily. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you need to. Yeah. No problem. You know, the, the uh, use cases that you just mentioned about processing mortgages and things like that, is this a situation where the bots are getting you 85% of the way and then human intuition has to take over for some of these things? Or are you processing a pile of mortgage applications and then making a decision on which ones get it and which don't? I think we, we uh, our goal is to do 100% automation, but we live in a world where there are always exceptions. So there are things you, you can't decide necessarily. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to do is to take, to take the automation to anywhere from 80 to 95% and then uh, put unique exceptions to people and let them handle uh, the things we, as a people, we do best. Mahir, let me ask you a semantic question. You know, we used to call programs, or we used to call them programs, now we call them apps, right? Yeah. You're talking about uh, uh, software, right? Yes. I mean, what's the difference between you're a software company and you're a bot company? So the one difference in our bot is that it's a, it's a, it's a general purpose bot that you can teach anything to, right? So you can say, uh, bot, I'm going to teach you how to process insurance, how, how I process adaptable insurance. Adaptable software. Adaptable software. And it will learn, and uh, before you know it, now you have an adaptable bot that can do most of the things that you were doing on the computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will learn. Now, every time it does that, it will get better and better. So we have some bots that have seen, let's say, 10 million invoices 
in 12 languages and after process and there's not a single human being with that kind of an experience. And can those no. things then become predictive? I mean that's where I think the the, the money is, that right? Is, is is where the, the bot's not just doing what you told it, it's also saying, now hold on a minute, I've noticed a pattern or whatnot. That is the, and, and you, 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 actually, you actually picked on it very well. That's one of the best advantage of running these things on bots. Because when this vast amount of data flows through bots, it logs everything, and then it can predict many things. So I think in few years, we're gonna enter the world where some part of future is knowable. Not everything is unknown. And it is, businesses will know that future, that, that, not, you know, and, that and part are, of future. Will are know. you already providing that as part of your software, is the predictive analytics we piece do. of it there? We do. So we, we, we have a concept called intelligent digital workforce, and it combines technology called RPA, robotic process automation, that's rule-based. Uh, another component is artificial intelligence and mm -hmm. cognitive, and then predictive analytics. All three work together. To, to provide a digital workforce. Well, what's the difference between those last two, between the AR part and the uh, predictive analytics? I think predictive analytics is kind, of a, is, is kind of an AI, but it is a unique application of AI, while AI has vast amount of other technologies as well. So it can uh, understand language, it can understand uh, pictures, it can make sense out of things, make decisions, and many, many other things. I mean, here, the, the software bots that, that go into, the bad guy bots, mm -hmm. they go into Twitter and into Facebook. They, Facebook's just having a devil of a time trying to get rid of those things. Here's the problem is, not your bots, but bots in general are gonna get better and better and better to the point where the bots are saying, man, did you see that last night Warriors game with Steph Curry? Amazing. Meanwhile, here's something else where a, a human would say, well, that's probably human because he's talking about the game, whatnot. Can bots get to the point where Facebook and Twitter will just not be able to detect who's real and who's not? I think that it, it is like if you recall old days of virus programs. When virus programs ca came, how did we took care of it? We wrote another programs that watched the viruses and stopped them. Uh, what we are beginning to see is as the bad, bad bots come, it is too hard for people to watch them. So the good bots watch the bad bots. So you're in the bot company, but the next big company might be the anti-bot company. That's right. <laughs> Mahir, thank you for being here. Thank you. Up next, a documentary filmmaker that takes a hard look at Silicon Valley when Press Here continues.